grass heads. It's six o'clock in the morning. I headed to go meet up with Pops real quick. We're gonna go put it at the Pamunkey today. We got a tournament coming up there in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna start pre-fishing it now, start trying to figure out where they're at, what they're doing. So today our goal, obviously, we're gonna treat it like a tournament. So our goal is gonna be to have at least five. Let's see what our five biggest are. Hopefully we we'll catch a whole lot more than five. You know how that is. So uh, we're gonna do our best. You know, we haven't been to Monkey in golly, I've been to Monkey in, Monkey in over a year. So this will be interesting. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully really well. They like it. Anyway, hopefully we'll have a good day, have some good footage for you. And uh, you see me and Pop stick a few fish and we'll have a good one out there. So uh, we'll see you on the water. But it's probably worth 500. Hey guys, it's RJ from Lip Rippers TV. Uh, we're back from the Pamunkey today. Uh, we were trying to go out today and target some fish and find out what they were doing. We got an upcoming tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. Me and Pops were out there today. Figured we'd try and find out what they're doing, try and create a pattern, find out what they were doing. Uh, it worked. We had a good day. Uh, providing the camera troubles I had, but uh, it was all in all, it was a good day. Caught plenty of fish. Uh, I've only got five on video, but we caught plenty more than that. Had a little uh-oh this morning. 
Uh, I had five right off the bat that I caught, thought I hit record and I didn't, and lost all that footage, so I didn't have that for you. So uh, also lost another one there later in the day for off of uh, not hitting record. I thought it was on video and it wasn't. That was my fault. So uh, we'll make sure I fix that for in the future. So let's go ahead and dissect into what we did today. Uh, all fish came off a of main river, which it should right now. Water temperature was over 85, it was 86 and 87 in areas. So wanted to go to some, uh, some water with some current, some water flow, a little deeper pockets, things of that nature, or grass. So we started off in the grass first thing this morning and that did it. I caught five fish within 10 minutes, uh, all on the Cinco. So I'm gonna go over with you that now. Uh, caught on the uh, Wacky Rig Cinco, a bubble gum color. And uh, they, they nailed it, they were one. So that, that put the first five in the boat, it gave us a limit right off the bat. Uh, and they were one, and, they were, and it was right on the edge of the grass line, probably two or three foot of water, but they were in that grass, and right on the edge of that grass line, they were coming out and nailing it. So they, uh, they really wanted that first thing this morning. And uh, I have it rigged up on a Bass Pro Carbon Light Special, uh, seven foot, with a quantum KVD reel on it with 14 pound fluorocarbon on it. And it's set up, you know, wacky, wacky rig style. So that did it for me this morning, first thing. That's the footage that I don't have because I forgot to hit record. That was my fault. So that was first thing this morning. After that, after that bike kind of got static a little bit on us, a little stagnant on us, it, uh, I went on a little further down, found a deep hole uh, had some wood on it, some lay downs. Started throwing crankbait in a little deeper water. Now this is the Spro Little John MD, black and chartreuse. And uh, this is the six to eight foot. And I caught a few of them on a lay down right there, which you've seen on video. Uh, I have that rigged up on a six foot six Abu Garcia Black Max special with a Abu Garcia Black Max reel. Off, off 14 pound fluorocarbon as well. Uh, they were they were really nailing this thing, man. They they really wanted that. They they really did. They were they were really really nailing it. And there were some better fish. They were good quality fish. They were a little deeper. So that that worked out for me good. Uh, also, uh, on wood. So then, as the tide was coming back in, the bite slowed down. Uh, the wind picked up pretty bad. It got real, real windy at some at sometimes. It was white capping out there. It, it got really rough. So it kind of took away my Senko bite. Some of the areas we were fishing wasn't really deep enough for me to want to throw that crankbait. And uh, so I picked up a swim jig. Okay. The Strike King half ounce swim jig. Okay. I got like a bluegill pattern going on. I got it rigged up on my uh, Enigma Phenom seven foot medium heavy rod on a quantum KVD, team KVD reel. This is on 15 pound fluorocarbon. And I, I tell you, I caught some good fish on this thing today. I caught some real good fish on this. Uh, my biggest fish actually came off of this. And it, I don't have it on video because again, I forgot, I thought I, thought I hit record. I didn't, my fault, I'm sorry, don't yell at me. But it, I'll make sure it doesn't happen anymore. So it was definitely my fault. But all in all, like I said in the beginning of the, of, the, of the video today, our goal today was to come out and try and catch a limit, you know, find some productive patterns and find some good fish, all of which we did. So I feel like it was a good day today. It was very productive. We learned, found some fish and, and we had about 13 plus pounds with our best five. So it, it's not too bad. I, I was happy with it. That was good. That's a pretty decent bag for the Pamunkey. So, uh, I'll take that any day. So those three baits is what, what worked for me the best today. Uh, didn't catch anything on a uh, Texas rig or anything on a uh, any top water at all. None. Boom. None. And I hate that. I love top water. No top water bites. Almost cried. But anyway, uh, those are those three is what did it for me today. And hopefully we can you know, re redo that pattern during tournament day. We're gonna go back at it again next Saturday on Pamunkey again, 
the following week of that is our tournament. So hopefully we can find them again next weekend and put it all together for tournament day, which I will be uh, having a video of the tournament. So uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that like button, man. Uh, subscribe to my channel when you get a chance. And uh, we'll see you next time on, on the water.